탐사 중 남극에서 빙하 코어를 탐사 중인 기후 학자들과 팀장 제콜 박사. You let Jason operate the drill? Yeah, he can handle it. 갑자기 빙하가 갈라지기 시작하고. 제콜 박사는 지구 전체가 빙하로 뒤덮이는 거대한 재앙이 올 거라고 경고하는데 Our economy is every bit as fragile as the environment. Perhaps you should keep that in mind before making sensationalist claims. 세계 각지에서는 이상 기후의 징후가 나타나기 시작합니다. 한편 학교 대항 퀴즈 대회 참가를 위해 뉴욕으로 가게 된 제콜 박사의 아들 샘. What are the odds of two boys failing? Remote. Make that three. What's going into it? I have no idea. They're all worked up today. What do you mean? One of our nomad boys registered a thirteen. Surface temperature the other day. You predicted it would happen. Yes, but not on our lifetime. This is too fast. Jekol 박사는 예상보다 빠르게 빙하기가 오고 있다는 걸 알게 됩니다. There's there's hail. The size of golf balls coming down. Low pressure system living along the California coastline is creating a cyclonic system across the LA basin. The current depends upon a delicate balance of salt and fresh water. We all know that. Yes, 
But no one has taken into account how much fresh water has been dumped into the ocean because of melting polar ice. Suggesting these weather anomalies are going to continue? Not just continue, get worse. Jack. Jack, we'll get the results. Six to eight months. That can't be. That time scale isn't in months, it's in weeks. Mr. Vice President. Tom. You know Professor Hall? Yes, we've met. Uh, Professor Hall has some uh, new information I think you should take a look at. We just got these results from our simulation model. They explain what's causing the severe weather. Look, I'll have to look at this later. I have a, a meeting with the director of FEMA this right now. This is very urgent, sir. Our climate is changing violently, and it's going to happen over the next six to eight weeks. I thought you said this wouldn't happen for another hundred years or so. I was wrong. Well, suppose you're wrong this time. I wish that I were, but I'm sure that you're aware of what's happening all around the world. Look, we're making all the necessary preparations for this storm. What more do you expect? You have to start thinking about large-scale evacuations right now, especially in the northern states. Evacuations? Yes. Have you lost your mind, Hall? I have to go. It's been 24 hours now since the snow started falling across the British Isles and over northern Europe, and it shows no signs of letting up. Hi. How's Jeanette? Oh. Uh, fine. Ferry just landed. Yeah. Must be nice in Spain. Wish I was there. The elite RAF search and rescue team has been deployed by helicopter to airlift the royal family to safety. Yeah, they think they'll come get us since we got snowed in. Not likely. moving down from the Arctic has created an enormous storm system in Canada, which, incredible as it sounds, looks more and more like a tropical hurricane. Now, Ooh, I gotta go pick up my little brother. Do you guys want me to give you a ride? Where is he? He's in a boarding school in Philadelphia. I think they're stuck in traffic over on Fifth Avenue. It'll be easier to head straight out of town if we just meet him over there. All right. You mean walk? No, not in this. 친구들과 함께 폭우를 뚫고 집으로 향하는 세. Maybe we should just stay here. I think the young lady is right, sir. No, we need to get home. Hey, Caesar, come here. What are you doing? The wolves. They're gone. Hello. I can't reach my driver. I lost the signal. This is insane. We're not going to be able to drive anywhere. We should just go back to your apartment. Yeah, I'll go for that. What? Are you kidding? Get me in higher! Come on! Up to the library! Stay calm, man. I'll get you out of
Jack. Were you able to recreate the thermal cycle? Yes. The storm's rotation is pulling supercooled air all the way down from the upper troposphere. We've located two other supercells in addition to the one over Scotland. There's one over northern Canada and another one over Siberia. This is 48 hours out. And in seven to ten days. When the storm is over, we'll be in a new ice age. Professor, it's time you got out of there. I'm afraid that time has come and gone, my friend. Excuse me. Yes, Are there sir. any pay phones on the upper floors? No, no. Uh, but there are some on the mezzanine. Great. Oh, but I, I, I think it's underwater. Where are you going? The power's out. Older pay phones draw their power directly from the telephone line. Are you sure about this? Jack? Sam's on the phone. Line four. Sam? Dad! Where are you? Are you all right? I'm all right. We're at the public library. Sam? Sam, listen to me. Listen very carefully. Forget what I said about trying to head south. It's too late for that. The storm is just going to get worse. It's going to turn into a massive blizzard with an eye in the center of it, just like a huge hurricane. Uh-huh. Only the air is going to be so cold you could freeze to death in seconds. What should we do? Listen to me, son. Do not go outside. Just burn whatever you can to stay warm and try to wait it out. I will come for you. Do you understand me? I will come for you. Sam, did you hear me? Did you hear me? He's going to be all right. Do you understand me? I thought you drowned. <laughs> Where'd you store the Arctic gear? You can't make it to New York, Jack. I've walked that far before in the snow. This is not the same. Jack, this is not the same. Lucy, tell him. I have to do this. Frank told me about Sam. I'm not gonna try to talk you out of going, but there's something I need for you to do first. I'm gonna brief the president directly. Sam is in New York. Before he was sent to New York, the ice and snow will reflect sunlight. The Earth's atmosphere will restabilize, but with an average temperature close to that of the last ice age. What exactly are you proposing, Professor? Evacuate everyone south of that line. What about the people in the north? I'm afraid it's too late for them. What do you think he'll do? I don't know. Jack. Thanks. And good luck. We can't evacuate half the country because one scientist thinks the climate is shifting. Every minute we delay is costing lives. Well, what about the other half of the country? Sometimes it's necessary to make difficult choices. I don't accept that abandoning half the country is necessary. Maybe if you would have listened to him sooner, it wouldn't be. Ah, bullshit. It's easy for him to suggest this plan. He's safely here in Washington. His son is in Manhattan. going to follow Hall's plan. General. Sir. Give the order for the National Guard to evacuate the southern states. Sir. Sorry, mates, but we're just about out of petrol. Is there any chance that it will run on this? 
settlement. To England. To mankind. To Manchester United. <laughs> I just wish I could have seen him grow up, you know. The important thing is he will grow up. Hi, man. <coughs> hey, man, there's people out there. I was walking my dog. There's hundreds of them. They're walking on the snow. 도서관에 대피해 있던 사람들은 도시에 가득 찬 물이 얼어붙었다는 것을 알게 되고 No, 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 it's not. We've wasted enough time talking about this. Come on, people. Let's go. 사람들은 샘의 경고를 무시한 채 남쪽으로 이동하기 위해 도서관을 떠납니다. I got it. You're supposed to be on a bus heading south. I've been watching your back for 20 years. I think I'd let you go alone. All these years, I thought I was watching your back. Where are the keys? In the truck. Where do you think you're going? Neither one of you knows how to navigate with the dam. 자원에서 따라 나선 동료들과 함께 샘이 있는 뉴욕으로 향하는 중. Thousands of people are crossing the Rio Grande into Mexico. The scene that's unfolding here behind me is one of desperation and frustration. People have abandoned their cars, grabbed their belongings, and they are wading across the river illegally into Mexico. This fireplace probably hasn't been used in about 100 years. What are you doing? What do you think we were going to burn? You can't burn books. No, absolutely not. You want to freeze to death? 도서관에 남은 사람들은 샘과 함께 다가오는 혹한을 대비하기 시작하고 The White House has ordered the following national disaster alert for all northern states, burning any fuel sources until the storm is over. Roads are impassable across New York State and as far south as Pennsylvania. In Pittsburgh, Where are we? At least 15 people were killed when the building they had taken refuge in collapsed. It's like we're just north of Philadelphia. Look out! Unpack the snowshoes. We're walking from here. We only made it to Brooklyn. Maybe we should just turn back. What for? If the city's frozen underwater, it's nothing to go back to. It's time to get out and keep moving. We should have done a state in the library. Oh, man. 도서관을 떠난 사람들 중에서는 혹한의 날씨로 사망자가 속출하고 있었죠. 폭설로 길이 막히자 동료들과 걸어서 이동하는 채. 
President, I'm sorry, sir. We can't wait any longer. We're the last ones. All right. Mexico in control. This is Delta 2-6. We're carrying an urgent message for high command. Request priority for land. 한편 뒤늦게 피난 길에 오른 대통령의 사망 소식이 전해지고. Raymond. The president's motorcade got caught in the storm. They didn't make it. I mean, last night she only had a fever. I don't understand. Oh, she's awfully pale. Looks can be good for something other than burning. All right, let's go over her symptoms. I told you that she has a fever and that her, she's got a really cold sweat. How's her pulse? really fast. Does she have any injuries, like a cut or something that might have gotten infected? She was complaining about a cut on her leg a few days ago. 상처로 인해 폐혈증에 감염된 로라. I've seen that before. That can get bad. She needs a massive dose of penicillin or a broad spectrum antibiotic immediately or or what? medicine on that ship. I thought you said it was too dangerous to go outside. I know I did. Where'd you find those chairs? Why? I'm going with you. Sammy 친구들과 함께 배 안에서 약을 찾고 있던 그때. 우리를 탈출한 늑대 무리가 배에 접근하는데 Found it. What? How do you know? Because it says penicillin on the bottom. Hey, wait a minute. This is the mess hall. We should find some food while we're here. But we don't have time. None of us are going to survive much longer without food, okay? Including Laura. Bingo. Well, we can use it. Put food in it. <laughs> Yes, 
to get out of here now. Try and get this surprise. <웃음> 태풍의 눈 한가운데에 들어왔다는 걸 알게 된 제. 우주 정거장에서는 북쪽을 뒤덮은 눈 폭풍이 사라지고 있음이 관측되고 마침내 잭은 샘이 있는 뉴욕에 도착합니다. 
꽁꽁 얼어붙은 도시의 건물 내부에는 구조를 기다리며 살아남은 사람들이 있었고 우주에서 관측된 깨끗해진 지구를 보여주며 영화는 끝이 납니다. 지구 온난화로 인해 지구에 닥칠 수 있는 기후 재앙을 소재로 한 재난 영화 투모로우. 급격한 기후 변화로 인해 찾아온 빙하기로 멸망 직전까지 간 미국의 모습이 꽤나 충격적이었는데요. 할리우드의 특수 효과를 최대한 발휘해 자연의 위대함을 연출한 장면들 또한 아주 인상적이었죠. 영화가 상영된 이후 전 세계 기후 변화에 대한 경각심을 높여 기후 변화를 주제로 한 영화의 대표작이 되었다고 하네요. SF 영화지만 현실성 있는 소재로 위대한 자연 앞에서 겸손함을 느끼게 해준 영화 투모로우 추천드리며 리뷰를 마칩니다.